RE TV. Aloha aina. I'm Ehuke Kahu Cardwell with the Kawani Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Now that West Side Maui has opened back up, we're about to see if fake state politicians will be able to keep their promises to protect Lahaina residents. And already, it's looking like this. Since the Maui fires, rents in Lahaina have increased dramatically. For example, prior to the fire, a two-bedroom rental in West Maui went for two to three thousand dollars per month. Now that same rental is five to seven thousand dollars per month. Many are saying it's time for fake state and county officials to impose rent controls so that West Side residents are not priced out of their own area. We've said before here on Free Hawaii TV that for foreign U.S. profiteers, Hawaii is simply an ATM machine spewing tons of cash into their laps. But whose money is it that is flying out of that ATM for foreign profiteers? In his latest Keao Puni update online, Leon Siu points out that under the American system, the main priority is always money over people. As Leon says, the pursuit of money and power has been America's prime objective in Hawaii all along even if it means sacrificing and harming Hawaii's people. Leon reminds us that there needs to be a fundamental shift in both the agenda and priorities for Hawaii. And as he says, the only way to do that is to free ourselves from that ATM machine, the American money power driven system. If there ever was a reason why Hawaii needs to be restored as an independent country, this is it. Putting people and the care of our aina before greed and profits. I'm Ehuke Kahu Cardwell with the Kawani Foundation right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.